Good evening, and thank you for joining Local 5 News at 6. I'm Michelle McCormick. And I'm Tom Zalaski. We begin tonight with an update in the case of missing three-year-old Elijah Boo. Local 5's Timothy Lateau takes us to an emotional day at the courthouse where Elijah's mother and her boyfriend appeared for preliminary hearings. Sad. Sad. If that was my grandkid or my kid, I'd want to know where he is. Cheryl Rowan, like more than a dozen other community members, filed into the courtroom Thursday, hoping to learn more in the case of missing three-year-old Elijah Vu. Where's that little boy? Somebody needs to tell us whether he's gone or he's here. The mother of Elijah Vu, Katrina Bauer, waived her right to a preliminary hearing, and she also withdrew her motion to dismiss count one, that chronic child neglect charge party to a crime. There is a sufficient factual basis to believe there's probable cause that a felony was committed and probable cause that she committed it. I will bind her over for further proceedings. Meanwhile, Bauer's boyfriend, Jesse Vang, is still without legal representation more than a week after requesting the court for a public defender. I was going to exercise my rights to uh, uh, due process, my rights to uh, attorney, my rights to uh, uh, speedy so Vang's preliminary hearing continues, as does the heartache of the community. They really love him and they're missing him, so I just wish somebody would tell us if he is out there, where is he? The tears for Elijah will keep flowing. Elijah, you're loved wherever you are if you're out there. As Elijah's whereabouts stay top of mind in northeast Wisconsin. In Manitowoc, Timothy Lato, Local 5 News. Bauer is expected to enter a plea at her arraignment, which is scheduled for next Friday. Vang is due in court next Thursday to continue his preliminary hearing.